This is Robert Dick, and today I'm playing on an Eastman Model 520 flute. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to talk about flutter tonguing and how to learn it. Okay? Now, flutter tonguing is one of those elusive things for some folks. It's like, how on earth do I do it? And there, there are two basic kinds of flutter tonguing. One is where the tongue itself is moving, and another is where just the uvula, that's that thing that's hanging down at the back of your throat. Um, <clears throat> it comes from the ancient Greek word for grape. So we're going to bounce our grapes. Okay, okay. now. I'm, the uvular flutter tonguing is really the superior form for the flute, and this is the one we're going to discuss. Now, here are two different ways of learning it. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to give you the complete Julius Baker instruction on uvular flutter tonguing, leaving out nothing. I was 17, and I was playing something with flutter tonguing in it, it sounded dreadful. So Mr. Baker cranked up one of his main pedagogical tools, the shocked and hurt look, and he looked at me and went, flutter tonguing, what's the problem? <laughs> now practice till it sounds like that. <laughs> that was it. Um, well, I did, but in the course of that practice, I found I was making all these horror film sounds. You know, I finding the position where the uvula would bounce was very elusive. So, here's another way to learn it. Um, it works much better. It's funnier. And, well, and it's even be, can be enjoyable. So, 30 seconds a day tops. Flutter tonguing is not crash learnable. You can just get a real sore throat. So, um, now, there's a very strong relationship between gargling and the uvular flutter. And pretty much everybody can gargle. I don't think I've met anyone who can't gargle. So, um, water, the one and only liquid to use for this. Okay, now, when I gargle, I'm going to sing. And it is the singing and gargling that's going to get everything in the right place. So, well, it's a humble beginning, isn't it? Now, um, just sing and gargle for 30 seconds a day, each day using less and less water till finally you have just the tiniest bit of water. <laughs> And then, no water. Okay? Now, <clears throat> when you can sing and gargle with no water, the next step in your 30 seconds a day of practice is to involve the flute. And what we're going to do is go up to the gargle position. Okay? It's just like a little bird waiting for mom and sing and play the flute and gargle there. <laughs> and every day, come down just a few degrees and slowly but surely at flute playing position. 
And so there you are in flute playing position, singing, gargling, and playing the flute. <laughs> And that's the time for the golden moment. Just stop singing. And you'll have a uvular flutter tongue. Now, why is it better? Well, for one thing, you can control the speed by how the position of the tongue so as you bring your tongue forward, the uvula will go faster. And it can be slowed down quite slow. Then you can articulate with the tip of your tongue while you flutter with the uvula. And that is in various compositions. Um, and lastly, you can control the texture of the flutter tonguing by how hard you press on the uvula with your tongue. So you can be a very um, penetrating, uh, the flutter can penetrate very far into the sound and be kind of rough sounding. Or, it could be very, very gentle. And one can change between these qualities as one plays. Okay, so Learning the uvular flutter tongue is one of those things, if you do it just a short time, every day, over time, you will get it. And then you'll not only have a beautiful sounding flutter tongue, but then you can be really learn to do musical things with it so it isn't just on or off. And, and it will really become part of your expressive palette um, to use in music um, as your mind and heart guide you. Okay, so that's um, the uvular flutter. And remember, at times, the choice is between the tragedy of failure and the comedy of success. So laugh, it's going to be funny, and you're going to really play it well. Bye-bye.